You can actually use text to speech softwares to create YouTube videos and you can actually monetize them. Whether you are having a YouTube cash out channel, YouTube automation business, or you are having a personal channel, this can be one of your advantages. Now, I bet most of you have ever heard of text to speech or have seen a video that was using text to speech, but actually, those videos got started. The text to speech friend got started uh, with Reddit channels, right? So let me show you one of the channels because I actually own one of these. Ask Reddit, what is the most useless invention you have seen? You often see this advertisement about the wristband that gives. So you can see, guys, uh, this is pretty much what the Reddit type stuff was. And uh, again, unlike other people, I actually own one of those channels, so I can tell you exactly how it was, what happened. And it's going to be a fun little ride, so make sure to stick until the end. Just wanted to let you know that we have created a free Facebook group for people interested in YouTube automation and YouTube cash cow channels. So if that's you, make sure to join the group in the description. It's completely free, and I'm looking forward to having you inside. Now, guys, as you can see, this channel right here, it's called Ask Bob Knob, and it has over 300,000 subscribers. And the funny thing is, if I show you this, there is also another channel called Bob Knob Studios with 33.7 thousand subscribers. And actually, I own the channel that was Bob Knob 2 under some circumstances with the owner of those channels. And eventually, I ended up rebranding the channel because it did not work very well. But again, let me explain everything here. Now, if you're wondering how do people make those videos and what type of text to speech, what type of editing, then this is the cool fact. There's no editing software. There's no text to speech software. It's actually a coding program, a program that it's designed specifically to create those type of videos where um, you basically get to put the, the Reddit thread, like you just copy and paste the Reddit thread and the software will automatically generate the video looking exactly like that with the same exact voice, with the same exact order and you can actually do a lot of cool stuff with it. You can, um, you can choose where to put transitions, you can create custom transitions, you can add music on burger and also you can um, decide to keep or skip a certain comment under Reddit thread, which is pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, guys, so I was lucky enough to find this conversation from November 20, 2020. So about one year ago when I was running the channel and I was I'm going to blur the guy's names here uh, because I don't want you to know again. Maybe he doesn't want to be on this video. But basically, I bought that custom bot from somebody online from 300 bucks or 400 bucks maximum, something like that. And then I was in contact with him uh, working back, going back and forth with the bot. You can see like basically one star rendering, da da da. Then we, we hopped on team viewer. Uh, it isn't anymore, but basically question I read the one. You can see how I, I went through this conversation back and forth with this guy. Now, overall, um, the reason why I stopped the channel eventually was not because of text-to-speech, which is the reason why I told that back then. It was actually, it lost monetization, but not text-to-speech was the problem. So let me explain what was the problem, and let's actually see how we can use text-to-speech to still monetize YouTube automation channels, YouTube cash card channels, or YouTube channels in general. Now, guys, as you might probably know from the YouTube guidelines, YouTube doesn't allow repetitive content to be monetized on YouTube. But what is actually repetitive content? Because a lot of people think that just having a text to speech, which everybody can use, which is kind of repetitive, um, can be monetized. But that's actually not the main reason. Basically, under YouTube definition, repetitive content is content that's usually massively produced, mass produced, and adds no significant value to the viewer. And if you think about it, this is exactly what those Reddit videos are. Because first, it's mass produced, like we use the software to create as many as we want. I think I was creating like 50 videos a day, which is insane. Uh, and then also, they add no significant value since it's just basically a Reddit thread and a couple of comments putting into a YouTube video. So there's no added value. So as you can see, guys, in this whole story, in this whole game, having test to speech as the voice is not even the smallest problem because we have so much bigger problems. So now let's actually see how you can use text to speech to monetize your videos. And I'll break it down into three steps. Step number one, and I think this is kind of obvious and common sense. It's great original valuable content. But hang on, let me explain. Creating original valuable content doesn't mean that you created the content and it's original by it means because you can also create something that a thousand people created before you and that's no more original, right? So you, I don't mean by having a picture and uh, some text on the background, some music or some footage standing still and then you move some things. That's not original content, guys. That's not, right? So you actually want to have a lot of footages. You want to have a kind of a timeline. You want to have some recordings in there. You want to have a lot of stuff. We're going to talk about dating in a second. But basically, it has to be created by you, put together by you with some original content and footage in there. Also, you can use articles and Reddit as inspiration, but you don't want to just copy and paste an article from Reddit or from whatever in the internet and turn that into a video because, again, that's now original content and will lead to demonetization. Now, I have an example of a channel that is using text-to-speech and it has been monetized for years now. It might not be a perfect example, but let me show you. If you can see here, guys, we have this channel called Termite Gamer where they're posting videos, I think, about PUBG, like Player Unknown, Battlegrounds, something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, I think it's PUBG. And then the cool thing is that they have been posting this for three 
right? And uh, let's actually play one of the recent videos so you can kind of see what's going on. Let's take an eight minute one, or let's take the, the most recent one, let's see. Before I begin with this video, I wanna announce a huge giveaway. I am giving away some money. So you can see they have a giveaway before the video, but even the giveaway is text to speech, but let's actually skip throughout the video so you can see that the whole thing is text to speech. Let's, I know, let's play it here. Talk about that. As long as you are comfortable with your sensitivity, you just need to keep this in mind. There you go, guys. You can see that they actually have text-to-speech as the main voice, and they also have some sort of subtitles here on the bottom, but they're not only monetized, verified, they also have 300,000 subscribers, and they've been around for three years, which is so cool. Congrats. And I know you might say, hey, Raz, that's not a cash cow channel, that's not a YouTube automation channel. What do we actually do if we want to do a YouTube automation channel, YouTube cash cow channel? And here comes the step number two, guys, which is editing and content creation across the video base. If you want to use text speech to create a YouTube video, guys, you, the same concept applies, the same thing applies, but now you have to do it differently since you don't really have actual footage or there's no face on it and all those stuff. So here are a couple things that you can keep in mind to make sure that you can have a cash cow channel with the text speech. The first step in here, guys, would be to create a highly engaging script. So you want to have an original script, something written by you and then, or by somebody who you hired to do so. But you do, again, you just want to compile information online and put it together. That's going to damage your channel entirely. And then step number two is to have a pretty, pretty good editing in terms of, I know, you use creative common footages, you can use stock footages, um, you can use what, screenshots, text on screen, transitions, all that good stuff to make the videos as engaging as possible and as original as possible. Again, here again, don't just copy what you see on other people doing, don't just copy the whole internet and put it into a video because that's not original. You actually have to use those as a source of inspiration, write something that's your own or hire somebody to do so. And that's pretty much how we create an original video as as it sounds, it's as easy as it sounds, but still not. some people don't do it and they wonder why they're not monetized. Step number three, which is kind of the hardest part, it's having a good text to speech software, right? Nobody wants to hear Alexa or Siri on a YouTube video telling them how to do something or telling them, presenting them historical facts because that's kind of funny. So how do you find the software? Well, it's actually very easy, guys. Like I, I just did a quick Google search and I saw there are a lot of them. Uh, first, I saw like Amazon has a program, but I didn't really like the voice. Google has a program, but I didn't really like the voice. And then I stumbled across the probably the most popular one. I've been spammed with ads from those people and that's called Speechlo. Now, I tested Speechlo myself because I'm actually running um, a text-to-speech program right now. We're just testing it on our company. Uh, but basically, Speechlo has two programs, like one which is kind of very cheap, I guess, uh, where you get limited voices, and then a pro one where you get a lot of voices. Now, what I did not like with Speechlo, it's still the voice sounds robotic, right? So the whole text-to-speech thing, it's you are doing it from two reasons, right? You're either lazy, as you don't want to do the voiceover, you don't want to hire somebody, or maybe you don't have money to hire somebody, or you want to facilitate the whole process and you want to, you want to make it so much faster. Because if you have a script and you use the text-to-speech software, you basically get the voiceover done in, I don't know, a couple minutes, right? Luckily, I found a much better one, which is called Wellsell Labs. I'm not sponsored by them to say this, at least yet. Uh, but yeah, guys, so they have pretty, pretty good voices. Like they have human voices, not only that, but they have multiple modes where you can select either you want a natural voice, like a human voice, basically, or you want to have a sponsor type marketing thing, like a TV presenter where they're sponsoring something, sponsoring the products. And I actually love using those on the project that I told you I'm working for right now. Again, hope this is going to stay. This is definitely not the cheapest option. If you want to go something cheap, definitely go with Speechlo. It's going to do work. I think I'm paying around 200 bucks for this one per month, but if you can afford it, I can definitely think it's worth it. Now, the last thing that I want to tell you guys before we wrap this up is that while text-to-speech can allow you to monetize YouTube videos, I'm not biggest fan of it because it's basically a lazy, easy way of doing things. And with those lazy, easy ways, they don't last, right? Let's imagine this. Let's say this is a great zone right now because, again, nobody can nobody can deliver as good as a human in terms of emotion, in terms of, I know, you making, building a relationship on camera or off camera just to the voice, a robot cannot do that. That's first. And second, guys, YouTube is constantly changing and improving their guidelines and all the stuff. And what if they move, basically, what if they move the fence? What if they move the border from uh, text-to-speech being allowed just one step further and text-to-speech not being allowed? Then you'd have to pivot and it's not the easiest thing that you want to do. But if you want to get a quick buck, I think this is a good way to do it. We're all about the long term here. So I know. Let me know in the comments, guys, what's your experience with text-to-speech and if you're going to use it. Um, see you next time, guys. Peace. Thank you.